Nyata International Airport. Rita, it's just a few minutes to 2.30 when that plane is expected to touch down. How are things at the airport? What is the mood like? Well, Akisa, difficult to predict the mood here. What you would expect, perhaps supporters here with banners to welcome him, flowers, that there is no such thing, but also confusion, a mystery surrounding whether or not he will be arriving here. You say it's only a few minutes to 2.30. If the arrival schedule here at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is anything to go by, then there is no flight from Dubai uh, this afternoon. You mentioned there he was to arrive aboard uh, an Emirates flight EK19. There is no such flight. The only flight from Dubai today or rather from this afternoon is one that will be arriving landing here at about 20 minutes past 7 in the evening and that will be EK721. So the EK19 which was uh, to have Miguna on board, that is not listed on the arrival schedule and this I mean both arrivals uh, terminals here. There is terminal 1A arrivals terminal 1a we are mostly Kenya Airways flights and other local airlines. There is Precision Air, those arrive there. Then other uh, international uh, flights, British Airways, Emirates, Swiss Air, Qatar uh, Airways arrive from this flight, where uh, this terminal rather from where I'm just standing and this is Terminal 1E. So on both arrival schedules at both uh, arrival terminals, there is no flight from Dubai. Remember Miguna Miguna was coming initially from the UK. And one odd thing, uh, Akisa, is that Miguna, wherever he has been, whatever he has been doing, he has been updating that on Twitter. The last update he did was six days ago saying he was heading uh, to the UK. And if uh, he was heading there and if uh, by any chance then he was flying direct from the UK to Nairobi and not going via Dubai, the next flight uh, from the UK will be arriving here at 21.30, that is 9.30 in the evening. So for now, no indications, unless uh, the government will be playing the same tricks it has been with Miguna Miguna. Remember, from the time he was arrested, journalists would be waiting, uh, for instance, at the Larry police station when he was not there, when he was to be arraigned in court, lawyers, his supporters were waiting at the Milimani law courts. He was taken uh, to Kajiado, still the uh, judge ordered that he be brought to the Milimani law courts. The judge, uh, the lawyers were waiting there until late in the night, at which time he had already been brought to the airport uh, and deported. So maybe he's arriving on another flight, maybe he has already arrived, maybe he's yet to arrive today, that we cannot confirm. But according to the arrival schedule, Akisa, as I told you, no a flight from Dubai this uh, afternoon until 7.20 in the evening. No other fi flight from Britain in case he was flying directly uh, from the UK where he was uh, addressing several uh, uh, gatherings. Last, that flight from the UK will be arriving here at 9.30. So we'll be waiting to see. As I mentioned, uh, no supporters or indication of uh, supporters here to welcome him, but his legal team, part of his legal team, including uh, lawyer Nelson Harvey, are here uh, waiting. We are also told there was a meeting at Orange House, and those who are at Orange House are expected to leave Orange House and make their way to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. So we'll just be sticking around, keeping an eye on things here for you in case he arrives. In case he doesn't still, we'll keep you uh, informed, Akisa. But Miguna, Miguna, a lot of controversy uh, surrounding him. Remember, he was uh, uh, charged. He was facing three counts. One of them is consenting to administer uh, an offense, to commit an, uh, a capital offense, being a member of uh, an a proscribed group as well as attending an unlawful uh, gathering. Once he was deported, he said he would challenge that, and he did through his lawyers, Nelson Harvey, George Haminwa. They signed an affidavit against him. Uh, in his case, he was seeking 16 things, and one of them uh, was to have his uh, deportation revoked. And the judges granted two of those. They declared his deportation null and void. They also ordered that his passport uh, be uh, returned and deposited in court, actually, within seven days when the court was making that ruling. But remember, he holds a Canadian uh, uh, passport, but he does not need a Kenyan passport to get here. To get into Kenya, he 
you will be traveling on that Canadian passport. But those holding Canadian passports to get into Kenya, you need a visa which you can apply once you arrive here. That visa only costing about $60. And so if Miguna Miguna uh, will be coming, he will be traveling on the Canadian passport. Once he gets here, then he can apply for a Kenyan uh, a visa at uh, that amount that I've just mentioned. Akisa. Well, Rita Tinina there uh, talking to us about the mystery surrounding the return of self-declared General Miguna Miguna saying even at the um, time of 2.30 p.m. as early.